Hey there, aspiring guitarists. This is part two of our E, A, B chord progression. Now, I've got my trusty um, circle of fifths wall clock. It's a little after one. Just got through with lunch. And here's the E right here. And you can see on both sides of the E is an A and a B. That's why we're doing E, A, B. Now, I've got other videos about the circle of fists. I've got my fret light here, and it's loaded up going E up at the open chord. You'll see it come up here, E, and then it's going to jump down to A, and then it's going to jump down to B. Now, let me show you. Oops, excuse me. Let me show it to you. You can see I keyed in the chord progression. And you can see there's E, there's A, and there's B. So, E, A, B. Now, what I did is I slowed down. I know it's hard to see this in the guitar tune software for the fret light uh, but you can see it lighting up and what it lights up on here and you set i'll have a whole tutorial about that one day for anybody that's interested in the fret light um, but it's a great way to practice chord progressions especially for a beginner because it lights up the chord slide down slide down now i know you may think oh i don't want to fool the, with a bar chord well, I understand that. Uh, I've got videos on bar chords, things you can do with a bar chord. But one of the nice things about E, A to B here is you don't let you you make the E using the not the first finger. You leave that first finger up, and so you chord the E with the middle, the ring, and the pinky, and you leave the uh, first finger up because what you're going to do with that first finger that's going to become how you drop this bar chord down on the fifth fret remember in the other video i told you the frets were open five seven open five seven and for those of you that you know maybe you're scared of doing a bar chord start out up here on the low e string your top number six string and just do open five seven and you can learn to get a little rhythm in with that There are all kind of things you can do with this rhythm. Remember, it's rhythm. Play with it. Yeah, you can you can do one strum. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. And you can go back to the fifth. You can even stop here at the third. And then go to the open A. Drop down to the high E string, the first string.
throw in a little razzmatazz. string E, A, B, open, E, A, B. Now how did I get to that? Let's take this off. All right, so here we are. Let, let's look. Remember, E, A, D, GBE, elephants and donkeys grow big ears. That's your strings coming all the way down from the top. So if I've got an E open string, the sixth string up here, the very first note is an F, F sharp G, G sharp A. There's that A on the fifth fret. Let's do it again. E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp A on the fifth fret. A sharp B on the seventh fret. Now we stop right there with E, A, and B chord progression. Now if you were to go one more fret, a half step, there's that B to C right here. There's B, that would be C. So look at it again on the fret light. It's way down there on five up. Now it's on seven. Here comes E. There's A on the fifth, and then there's B on the seventh. E, A, B. Now, you're going to learn that use that uh, uh, same thing. I just went to E, A, B. Well, I made an E shape. I kept this finger so I can bar. That's the A. That's all I did. I moved the E shape. Down here, drop the bar on the fifth fret, got my A. Then I went to the seventh fret, kept the bar, kept the E shape, got my B. Go back. E. A. B. E. A. B. And then you can do that little rhythm rock and roll because once you learn shapes and bar chords, that's why we're trying to teach you to learn the musical alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, repeat. And you know, a lot of times they want you to learn up here on the sixth string and the first string. Why? Because they're both E's. So you're gonna get the same thing. But I would encourage you to learn the notes on the fifth string. Why? Because that's an A. So here, here, let me, let's get up here where you can see it. All right, so up here on the fifth string, all right, by itself, it's an A. And then as you just move down, A sharp, B, half step, B to C, half step, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, to F, there's that half step, B to C. Remember, you just did E to F, F sharp, G, A. So you're just repeating. So, you know, learn more than just the top E string. And I encourage you to learn the alphabet. I know that's hard to see. But again, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E to F, F sharp, G, G sharp to A on the 12th fret. Let's do it this way where you can see it. Remember, I'm on the fifth string, A, A when you hit it open, A sharp, B, C. There's a half step. 
C sharp, D, D sharp, E, half step to F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, and, and you've returned, you've repeated, you've gone through it. So, you know, we, we teach up here, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, half step to C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. You always end back up on your octave at the 12th fret. But remember, it's easier to make a bar chord. And, you know, I have a video on the bar chord, but sometimes you'll see people when they make a bar chord, everybody thinks you always have to lay your finger down across the whole fret. That's not always the case. Sometimes as you get down here on the higher registers, low register, middle register, high registers, when you get around here, sometimes all you really got to do is hit just barely bar the first string and just lightly touch. You can actually curve this bar finger to just touch the, the low E string, the sixth string. Doesn't always have to be laid down so hard. That was one of the reasons I taught in the bar chord lesson. Sometimes you might want to lay down the shape before you throw the bar down. And remember, it is easier to make a bar chord when you get away from the nut. So you've got E. Let's let it catch up. A. Sorry about that. To B. E. To A. That's just the bar chord. And it slides to here. There's the bar chord again. And the reason that note went down last is because I told it to blink the root note. I'm going to stop it blinking the root note. Okay, so now let's watch it. B. E. A. It's not blinking now. B. E, that's an open chord. Here comes the bar chord at A. There's the bar. Moves to seven. There's the bar. E, A, B. And you also, whoop, sorry, did your circle of fifths. And I like my clock. <laughs> so another bar chord. Take your time. As far as the rock and roll, look, you can do this rhythm any way you want. Practice it slow, you can practice it fast, you can do it up here. Change it up. Bum, but to bum, 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 to bum, 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 to bum, bum. A lot of rock and roll is rhythm. And that's why they, they, they practice shapes and bar chords. We get scared of that bar chord because of the F. And we get scared to death just because all we tried to lay down was just across the first and second finger and make that open chord F. What's an open chord? An open chord includes strings that are not fretted. There's, there's even more definition there. Remember, a chord is just three notes. Which is a lot of times why you'll see people, they'll make a bar chord, like here's the A minor shape down here, and they may do nothing but just touch there. They're not laying that whole finger down across. It all depends on the chord. Different guitars handle bar chords differently. It depends on the action, the strings, the scale length, all kind of things. When you go in a guitar shop, Practice a bar chord, slide it around up and down the neck, and you will find that some guitars are easier to make a bar chord than other. I am not telling you not to practice that bar chord. Certainly, if you can make a bar chord, 
on an acoustic, for example, that's hard to press, well, then it's going to be a breeze when you switch to an electric. Don't be scared of bar chords. Don't let chords scare you. Learn about the shapes. This is an E shape. That's the reason I started off with an open chord E, to where you could just slide this and drop that finger to make the bar chords. Remember, when you make a bar chord, all you're doing is taking the nut and moving it. Your finger becomes the nut. Open, five, seven. Open, five, add the E shape, seven. So that, that I, I, no, you're not gonna be able to do this immediately. Rewind the video. Think about what you're doing. Practice. Every place you see me touching with one finger is where that bar is going to get laid down. And what's going to come behind it? That E shape. That's all. E, A to B. Hey, I hope this helped. Go back and look at part one if you need to. We'll practice some more. Uh, we'll do some rhythm techniques too. But I hope this helps your guitar journey. And I hope it demit this. It, I, I realize making the shapes and the chords and get them to ring out and sound right it is it's hard, but hard work will pay off. It will. Stick with it. Um, hope your guitar journey is blessed always. And most of all, hey, happy picking.